Hello, how are you doing? Well, how are you? Good. Graham, good yeah. rolls. Oh, good. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Thoroughly yeah. enjoyed it. Thanks for having us. Oh, well, yeah. my pleasure. Yeah. Really, Marcus? <laughs> <laughs> no, it was so, really good. I get those. Yeah, can you, uh, so for, from this side, can you say your name to the camera? And like, yeah, I'm Tony. I, I, I am Tony. <laughs> this is Johnny White from Northern Ireland. I, I, I am. <laughs> Trains with us at the Snake Pit in Wigan. Yeah. I'm Marcus Whitehead. Uh, we've had a bit of back and forth over the last few years, haven't we, Raoul? Yes. yes. Uh, so uh, we're in town for a competition, mm -hmm. and it'd be rude not to pop in and say hello. So here we are. Yeah. So we're here in the in Fight Science MMA. Uh, we just had a few rounds, uh, you know, just catch wrestling rolling. So, um, but we kind of wanted to talk about where uh, we're kind of like the differences between like the jiu-jitsu style and the catch wrestling style. Uh, kind of like diverge, because I think there's a lot of talk about like how they are similar, right? right? But I think now both of you have been doing it for a while, where you can like have a more clear understanding of cat wrestling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What are some of the differences you're seeing? Yeah, like for me, I, I sort of like jiu-jitsu. Um, like, still, still train, love, love it uh, in the game mostly. But uh, uh, for me, cat wrestling is that really like it's what jiu-jitsu should be, but it's not. I like. Like my coach, uh, like he's he's been trained, he tra he's been trained under Master Mercio and stuff, and like he, he was still teach like the old ways of jiu jitsu, but like like even in comps, like I see like 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 that's, that's just going so just just going so far away from what it actually is, but like captures that are it's like what like it's just like you're down and you're pinning, you take down and you're pinning, that's the thing jiu jitsu is lost, lot like like captions what. Gone yeah. too, too deep on itself yeah. and yeah. kind of a bit sporty. I found yeah. people started wrapping bits of material around my ankle and things and they, like that. I was like, oh, yeah. okay, I'm losing the passion for this now. You yeah. know, yeah. you drop, like, you drop to your bottom, like yeah. And some people can win a match where it's like, sitting their ass for like six, six, eight minutes, whatever. Like yeah, yeah. yeah. Like if you, if that's on the street, like that, really, like people just give you a big mouth and put in the face. Like. Yeah, that was that was where I started to lose. A, a little bit of my passion for it was when people just sitting down. I was like, no, I, I came to this because I wanted to be able to sort of look after myself, look after others. I'm not just going to sit down in some sort of a situation of aggression, you know. So, and also, uh, I was going into competition, and in all the jujitsu competitions, you start on your feet, and we hadn't done any of it at all. And was, I was like, oh, uh, you, you know, and are you starting to feet, and then yeah. the, the early, uh, people just sit down, and I guess, um, What's the point then? Yeah. Yeah. So as soon as, uh, after six months of uh, training catch wrestling, I felt far more uh, confident and yeah. to yeah. meet anybody stood up, really, mm -hmm. uh, the jiu-jitsu guys at least, you know. Yeah. Yeah. It was only really the, the sort of serious judo guys that were giving us anything yeah. to worry about, you know, the rest mm -hmm. of them were going, going flying high. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Yeah, no, fantastic. So I think, yeah, that's kind of what I've been seeing too, because like even in the IBJJF, like they have the whole rule set where I think it's become a way to game the system where it's like, if you can get a takedown, you got your point, and then you just wait until the end yeah. of the round. So, yeah, yeah. So it's like with catch wrestling, uh, because there are no points, it's like it's continuous. So uh, the, you can't rely on like just getting the takedown and laying on them. Yeah. Right? You, you have to keep going, like trying to pin them or get the submission depending on what you can get. Yeah, the, yeah. yeah there's a, a lot of emphasis on control, controlling your opponent, getting into that dominant position, and not only controlling them, but making it quite miserable for them, so they want to be moving. And I suppose, uh, I still feel like a beginner. I mean, I've been at it five years, but I can tell that there's a, quite a few doors that I still need to open about using that control and, and the pressure to lead people where I want them to go and be waiting with my big sack to bundle them in. So, mm -hmm. so uh, I've still got somewhere to go mm -hmm. and on that journey, I would say. But uh, feeling good about it so far. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, you made me think of one thing because uh, you, you mentioned so in the competition you're going to be doing there are chokes. But um, one of the things I've been thinking about too, and I also, I, I train um, at 10th Planet and our headquarters here in Los Angeles. And one of the things I do kind of like about them is that they're not always trying to go for the choke. And I think catch wrestling 
really helps you to understand there's more things you can attack besides just like if someone shows you their back you don't just jump in and like try to choke right there's yeah. so many different uh, avenues you can go. So, um, are there some, yeah, go ahead and tell me your thoughts about that. Well, at first, um, because I've come from Jiu Jitsu way, they sort of like, don't let anybody near your back, don't let them near your back, you know, mustn't let anybody on your back. And then we seem to be like showing our back quite a lot, but I can't say that I get choked or even mm -hmm. people round my neck at all. I mean, maybe because I've learned a bit of Jiu Jitsu beforehand, but. It's um, funny you say that, like, uh, they get. I've been doing cash now for say a year and a half now and like uh and like even my coach says to me, uh just the coach back home says, like I've been doing this thirty years and you're the only person I cannot show. Even get a <laughs> even if I get a choke on you, like the right like catch like your neck isn't the right just develop like so so much like <laughs> it is crazy because like 'cause I say to people like I'm not I like I can't be choked that's the reason cash is like, Develop my body, you know, to like to resist. Like, but like, I will get it eventually, but like, it's gonna get me like out of that those bad positions. Like, and like, and like, I feel like cash is like, it's re it really drives you like, to to really fight for what like what's yours and stuff. Yeah, you? perhaps the uh, I think the cross face comes before the choke. It's sort of a bit sooner in the as the hands come, it like cross face straight away, but the choke's a lot further in, isn't it? Yeah. So perhaps if you're used to defending. The cross face and the choke's got no chance, you know, because uh, mm -hmm. you have to get past the cross face defense to get anywhere near the choke. Yeah. Perhaps. I'm, I'm, but I, like I say, I can't say I've, I've got many people swinging around my neck at all. Okay. So. Yeah, actually, I got to the point where it's like um, most people, like, they're definitely going to want to try to like get a headlock or something. So I'll let them like take me down because I know they're not going to choke me, especially like in a jiu jitsu situation. Like, you know, take me down because I'm gonna, I'm gonna reverse you and you know, like try to pin, even pin you, right? Even in a jiu-jitsu situation. Uh, so at least you're like on top, and then you can work on your submissions if you're doing no D. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. So do you feel like that's kind of well in the, in the tournament you're gonna do uh, coming up this weekend. There are points for takedowns, all right? Yeah. So you have to be a little yeah. bit more aware. But just, yeah, yeah. There, there's yeah. points for different positions, uh, which I have to remember. Like, I think it's yeah. one, one point for a reversal, two points for an escape. And there's back, uh, back points as well. So yeah. Yeah. Um, and then uh, depending on the how exciting your takedown or throw is, two, three or four points for that. Yeah. Um, but uh, we'll be looking for the finish anyway. So <laughs> yeah, yeah. See if you can. Yeah, yeah. yeah keep that mindset and yeah. don't worry about it yeah. if you get some kind of takedown or something. Yeah. Yeah, they like keep on uh, thinking wrestling first, pinning first. Yeah, wrestling yeah. first and then pin, pin, is, pin is king yeah, good. and then just pressing off. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Would you say that even pin could be like king in uh, wrestling? Area, uh, sorry, in nogi? Uh, absolutely. Like, uh, as, like even when my jiu jitsu, like, uh, I, I'm catch, like, yeah, I'm always, always good for the pin, like, and that, uh, like, just big, uh, I think that's what Kaz has taught me, you know, like, uh, you're, you're always going for that pin because, like, once you've pinned the person, like, you're already, like, it's almost like that, like, in my head, like, you've killed the person, and, like, it's like, if they do try and struggle, like, you just go for the final blow, like, it's the submission, like. Mm -hmm. It's kind of demoralizing when you're yeah. getting controlled and held to the ground and stuff like that. And I think that's kind of part of the Cat's game, isn't it? To take the will out of your opponent. Mm -hmm. um, and so and I think the pin does that. And uh, you, you need to control them before you can do your submissions anyway, haven't you? So, yeah. um, but uh, it's been a great week for us anyway. We've been training uh, with all sorts of different people that we just uh, watch from afar. Um, and so um, I guess today that'll be our last little role really before uh, we go and wind things down now until Sunday. Um, show these other Americans what's what. I think people seem quite excited that we've come over anyway. Um, it's always excited when Americans come to us. Yeah. And, uh, and I can sense the same sort of excitement when we come over here as well. So yeah. it's good that everybody's coming together and, uh, you know, sharing the love and the knowledge and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, yeah, no, that, that's, that's fantastic too. Because even in, um, in Southern California, we have like some of the most famous like jujitsu schools and stuff. Yeah. So how has that 
been like with your experience of training with some of these different people? Uh, well, we've been uh, Eric Paulson's all week, um, mm -hmm. and uh, I mean the techniques are coming thick and fast there. It's like trying to drink from a fire hose, you know. What I mean? it's, um, Josh Barnett's uh, been showing us bits and bats in the evening. Uh, Kay Bruatolo came down on Tuesday, was showing all his techniques, which are awesome. Um, and uh, it's been a bit of a who's who, really. So, great, good stuff. Mm -hmm. yeah. and, uh, and it was good to feel all these other people and kind of get your measure, your own mark, and where you fit in on the scale of stuff, mm -hmm. you know. So, that's been good as well. Uh, just got one more one more session tonight that I need to get off for really okay. and uh, and then um, I'll bring it on on Sunday yeah, yeah, all yeah. refreshed and rejuvenated oh, right. uh, but it's been great to come down here train with you meet you finally yeah. after all these years in person yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. so that's so that's great really grateful that you've had us down uh, awesome. hopefully yeah. it'll be the you know the start of more of the same yeah well, well you're all welcome anytime if you're on a vacation in LA you know we you can always train here at Fight Science. Nice. Awesome. Nice. Go on, Mike. Yeah. All right. Um, uh, I know you have to go. Uh, so, do you, are you on Instagram or is there any way people can reach you? Or? Yeah, I'm on uh, Instagram. It's at Acoustic Warrior because I do sort of write songs and music as well. So, I've got a bit of that on there, but yes. mainly grappling related stuff. Awesome. Uh, yeah, you can find me at uh, Johnny White PJJ. That's yeah. Instagram, yeah. Okay, right, maybe we'll try to put it on the screen too. But yeah, thank you for coming, and we'll let you rest. Cheers, and thank good you luck so this Sunday. Yeah. Thanks, Raul. Yes, thank you. Yeah, pleasure. Brilliant. <laughs>